I was surprised to learn a few years ago that there's a cactus that is native to Pennsylvania and to portions of the northeastern U.S. It's called the Eastern Prickly Pear. This one grows on really dry, rocky outcroppings such as shale barrens or on cliffs in full sun, dry, well-drained soils. It's considered rare or vulnerable in Pennsylvania. It's threatened by a number of things, including habitat loss, fire suppression, invasive species, and many other things. And it's primarily found in the southern half of the state. So anyway, I had to go out and try and get some of this for my garden. I have a dry, hot slope that's west-facing, gets full sun, gets blasted with heat, and it was perfect for there. So I planted it, and it's done exceptionally well. In fact, this species does quite well in gardens around here. As long as it's hot, sunny and as long as the soil drains well if it's drier the cacti will love it there a lot of people in philadelphia actually grow this species in pots or containers on their porch or on their front stoop Around this time of year, it's blooming really big yellow flowers. They produce these really bright red fruits after being pollinated, and the fruits are actually edible and pretty tasty. And it's super easy to propagate. If any of the pads fall off at any time, you can take them, put them in a little bit of soil. They'll send out roots in a couple weeks, and then you can plant them again, or just stick them in the ground near the plant where you want it to expand to. It's not the most ecologically valuable plant in terms of supporting wildlife, but it does seem relatively popular for pollinators, and it does serve as a host plant for the eastern cactus boring moth.